And our team coverage moves now to Vero Beach. That's where we find CBS 4's Jason Allen. And Jason, what can you tell us about the conditions there? We know that Nicole made landfall at around 3 o'clock this morning in that area. Yeah, it, it did, Kevin Maribel, and, and that was interesting because for about an hour or so this morning, the Vero Beach area actually had a, a, a pretty good break uh, from what this storm had been producing here over the last couple of days. You know, the, yesterday afternoon and the evening was very rough here, very difficult. The wind was howling. Uh, the rain was, was pushing hard. The, the surf, which is just here behind the camera, was smashing up against the wall and I'm sure eroding some of the spots where there isn't a seawall. And then as that as that eye wall came across, at, at times there was absolute dead calm, as you hear when the eye comes comes across on, on shore in one of these storms. Wind wasn't blowing at all, rain stopped. Right now we do have some light rain. The wind is blowing again in the opposite direction as it's known to, as it's known to do. I know that you guys were just getting an update on power outage down there. You can see that power is still on here, hasn't flashed at all, although we are starting to see those outages add up as that storm moves inland in some more populated areas across the state. All right, and Jason, <laughs> Florida people are, are, we're hardy people down here. Yeah. Uh, do, have you seen Looky Loos coming out to see what's, what's happening? Sure, yeah, they, they've absolutely been here. Earlier this morning, this parking lot had quite a few people in it. Uh, they just wanted to come out and, uh, you know, see what was going on, see the surf. A lot of people taking pictures, obviously, of the moon and the stars when uh, when the eye passed over. Um, I will say that a, a police officer just stopped just a minute ago and talked to us and told us that the, the concerns about flooding are not over yet. In fact, they're starting to get calls uh, from people, houses uh, that, that live along the river, the Indian River, which is just a few blocks back here behind us. Um, so, some of that surge that came in overnight has now made its way into the river and so it's the water starting to rise there and they're getting some reports now of water getting into home so I know we were talking about a few minutes ago we'll get an idea of the damage once the sun comes up and that may be one of the first things that that we notice is some of those areas inland now that are flooding as that storm surge has had time to, to move its way into some of those inland waterways. And Jason what can you tell us about people getting prepared for the storm I know you know locals and probably used to this and saying oh you know it's it's November we weren't expecting this to happen. How prepared were they for this? I, I think you nailed it. That, that that's kind of <laughs> yeah. the, the, the the way that people were taking right. this. You know, it was uh, it's 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 late in the season. It's going to be a small storm. We're not going to have to do that right. much. All we've seen is a few sandbags in areas. Mm -hmm. We didn't see a lot of boarding up from this one. All right, Jason, yeah. thank you. I know you think about it. It's like we're towards the end of hurricane season and now this. Right. Thanks, Nicole.